Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the basic parking enforcement for LSPFR. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops out there fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. Today guys I'm going to be showing you how to install the basic parking enforcement into your LSPDFR. Now for those of you that used to have traffic policer or may still use traffic policer, which I don't encourage you to do because uh, traffic policer is extremely outdated, but if you may still use that, this is kind of like uh, the ticket system on traffic policer where you give illegal tickets to, I'm sorry, where you give tickets to illegally parked vehicles. Kind of the same thing, a more updated version and a better system in my opinion. I love it. Guys, let's get right into this and click the link down there for your basic parking enforcement. It's going to bring you to this page right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be basic parking enforcement. This is going to be by through, uh, I think it's Thruz D. Uh, Thrust D, we appreciate your time and creativity in the LSPFR community, man. We really do appreciate you, man. I absolutely, man. Listen, Thrust, I love your plugin, dude. I love this plugin. Uh, I did an episode on this plugin uh, not too long ago, and I absolutely love it. I love it so much. So, guys, I'm going to take you in the game and show you how all this works. Uh, for right now, we're going to scroll down and click download this file right here. And we are going to click agree and download. And it's going to start downloading, guys. Uh, download it, guys, and put it somewhere where you know how to get to it, um, whether it be your a folder or a desktop. I do recommend your desktop. Uh, once you have it downloaded, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. You're going to need your GTA 5 main directory, ladies and gentlemen, GTA 5 main directory. Now, the way you locate that is you want to go to your file explorer, and then you want to select the hard drive in which you installed your Grand Theft Auto 5, okay? Then you want to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, and comment okay and then select your grand theft auto 5 main directory epic users you can follow along with your directory as well okay this is going to be your gt5 main directory epic users you're going to open up your gt5 directory just like this go to your file explorer the hard drive in which you installed your gta5 you're going to go to rockstar games or epic games whichever one it says and go to your one that says gta5 right here okay just follow along epics okay follow along so for Steam users first, open up the basic uh, parking enforcement right here, okay? Then double click on that folder. Double click Grand Theft Auto 5. If I can get it to work right. And then you just want to grab this plugin folder right here, guys. You want to drag it into your main directory just like this. And you want to drop it in, okay? That's all you want to do. Let me minimize this. Epic users, okay? Epic users, same thing. Grab the plugins folder. Pull it into your main directory and drop it, okay? That's all you have to do. Once we get that done, let's go ahead and get rid of that shortcut. Let me pull back up the directory for Steam users. Now, Epic users, just follow along with what I'm doing. It's the same exact pathway and everything, okay? Everybody, go to your plugins folder. Go to LSPFR. And here is your basic enforcement folder that you want right here. I'm sorry, you don't want this one. You want the configuration setting folder right here. Open it up. All right, and we're going to pull this up. Get this up real big. Uh, now, right here... We are going to, this is your ticket menu system key right here that opens up your ticket system menu key. We're going to leave that at F5. We are not going to change that, okay? We're going to leave it right there. Now, for the general menu key, okay, um, this is set to Q. Um, I am going to change mine to, um, I'm going to change mine to a capital R, all right? Now, um... I'm going to change mine to capital R. You guys change whatever you want, but just whatever you change it to, make sure it is a capital letter, okay? It has to be a capital letter. No numbers, nothing like that. No function keys. It has to be a capital letter, okay? Once you get that done, once you get that done, go up here to File and click Save, all right? And then close out of your that, and then go back, refresh your directory, close it out, and let's go ahead and launch our LSPFR from Rage right here. We're going to go ahead and launch it. 
All right, guys, and I will see you all inside of the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so once we are loaded into the game, I'm going to go to an area here where there's quite a few cars. we got a car here parked in the red zone. We're going to pull up right here. Now, um, so your main key, ladies and gentlemen, the main key, like whatever you selected for your main key, um, is going to bring up this menu right here. It's going to allow you to edit your zones. So... Um, this tickets given out on this shift you can check that it's probably going to be your uh, it's most likely your Q key by default unless you changed it um, as you can see I've given out no tickets yet all right and then you can also edit the zones which means you can require tickets to be given here or no tickets required here okay I'll explain all that in just a minute now when you walk up to a vehicle all right so we're gonna walk up to a vehicle right here now, you can see that half his car is in the red zone, so that is illegal, all right? So we're going to walk up to the car. You ain't got to get that close, but um, we're going to walk up, and you're going to want to push. By default, it's going to be F5 unless you change it to a different function key. Uh, now, right here, you can check if the vehicle has a valid parking ticket. Go ahead and check it like that. It'll tell you right there at the top of the mini map. Um, status is valid, so no parking ticket. And you can go down, and you can do a vehicle check. Dispatching a check on a 03 Ocean Void Paw 679. Target vehicle license plate 03 Ocean Void Paw 679ers. A traffic violation. Approach with caution. So, being the fact they have no registration, no insurance, and the vehicle is more than likely stolen, I would have this vehicle towed, in my opinion, okay? Now, at this point, you can go down and you can either call for a tow truck. Or, and right here, guys, is your current, uh, you can't change that's current par parking zone. Tells you where you're at. Um, you can go ahead and look at the history of the parking defense of the current vehicle. You pull it up. That's the only ticket they have. It has not been paid right there, as you can see. Uh, the offenses were other parking violations for $40 and prohibited zones right there, okay? So, uh, now, in my opinion, I would go ahead and create a ticket. Um, I'm going to do... I'm going to do prohibited zones, okay? So you can mark here, you could put like, um, parked in a towaway zone for $70. Uh, it's also an emergency vehicle zone, no parking. Uh, and you could put fire lane as well because that's what this is, okay? Now once you get those checked, uh, you go back and you're gonna go up and click submit, okay? And he's gonna go ahead, he's gonna write the, the, the ticket. Now if you have grammar police, stop the pedal ultimate backup, you can call in for a tow truck like that. And uh, I'll show you how to do that as well with, with all three. Um, I'm sorry, with both of those plugins. All right. So pull up my ultimate backup, guys. I can go over. I'm sorry, not ultimate backup. Excuse me, not ultimate backup. It's going to be your stop the pad menu, your G key. You're going to go down to request tow service right here. And then you would just select the tow truck. Or you can go dispatch, send me a tow truck. And that's going to be through your gamma police. Select which one you want. They're going to come in and have the vehicle towed. All right. Sorry about that, chick. All right. Now, with that being said, I'm going to walk on up here. And if you catch vehicles like this, is all depends on your discretion how you want to play this, guys. Uh, man, I love the way those lights look on that vehicle. I love that vehicle. Um, but however you want to, um, you know, like say this car right here. Let's see how he's parked away from the curb a little bit. Now, normally for me, I know that sounds picky, but I would write a citation for him. I'd walk up, press the key, pull it up, and um, I would go ahead and create. Now, down here where it says ticket required, guys, remember what I showed you first, the main menu? Uh, that is going to be this right here. If you edit that, tickets given out on the shit, or go to edit zones, and you can change that status to no tickets required here. Now, if I go back and hit F8, it should change that, okay? See there where it says no ticket required? All right. So that's kind of how that little, little system works. Let me get back up. Get up, stupid. Don't make me look dumb. All right, so I'm going to change it back. I'm going to exit out. I'm going to go back to this, to my menu. Uh, we're going to check out the parking defense history. Oh, my gosh, a lot of tickets. So that one's paid. That one's paid. Paid. Oh, check that one. Paid. So you can check all their parking defense history and everything with this. I love this plugin, guys. I think that... Uh, Thuz did an awesome job on this uh, uh, this system, man, on this plugin. So big shout out to Thuz, man. 
for this plugin. I absolutely love it. But that's pretty much it, guys. Everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. You can create tickets for ticket violations, uh, such as no ticket present, uh, ticket expired, ticket expired under three hours. Uh, so parking tickets, that sort of thing. Prohibited zones, as we just went over right there, guys. Um, blocking. Parking block and private driveway. I mean, there's just tons and endless amounts of options here. Now, one thing that I wish Thuz would do, if you're watching this video, Thuz, and I might just put it in the comment section of your of your LSPVR.com page, is right here on Other, when we check Other, I wish you would give us an option to type out our own ticket. Because it is Other. So if you could put in an extra something in this plugin, man, and do an update on this mod... And right here, put in something where we could type in our own ticket, something we want to write. Just say, for example, uh, part too part far too part too far away from the curb. Uh, I could say, you know, type in some just whatever, just something on the other part where we could type in something ourselves. Uh, with that being said, guys, I'm going to exit out, and that is pretty much it for this tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. Everything else is pretty much self-explanatory and the way that you want to run things with that being said ladies and gentlemen subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already and smash that like button for me is i would greatly appreciate it um also guys and girls come sub to my second channel cg farms where i do farm simulator related content over there and we are currently sitting at 958 subscribers on the road to 1k baby we just surpassed 20,800 subs here on Criminal Justice, so we are almost at 21K here as well. With that being said, guys, I love you all so much. Until next time, God bless, take care, stay in prayer, love one another, and peace out.